Question number seven, is the CO2 treatment painful? Is there a downtime? And how soon do I see the result? So. Hey guys, Dr. Martin is here from Pulse Light Clinic. Today we're going to talk about acne's, different type of scarrings, and also different available options to you, especially with CO2. Question number one, why we do get acne? Basically, acne occurs when an opening of a hair follicle get blocked by excess oil in the skin or by dead skin cells. And then that's get infected and a small pimple, which is a raised red uh, spot forms on the skin, which is full of pus and sometimes that get discharged into the skin. Question number two, are acne scars permanent? Well, the answer is depend on the type of scarrings that we have and the severity of the problems. But usually they're very difficult to completely erase them from the face, but we can treat them to a very good level and fade them as much as possible. Question number three, will picking the acne cause more scarring? Yes. Question number four, uh, can acne scars heal naturally? So the answer is yes and no. Um, yes, because not all the acnes uh, lead into acne scars, but then some of them does. So when, when acne happen, body produces more collagen and depending on the amount of collagen which makes, it might leave a scar like indentation or it might sometimes leave a raised lesion on the surface of the skin or it may uh, repair it perfectly. So the answer is not very definitive. Question number five, how can we treat the acne scars? Traditionally, we used to do subcision, which we just cut the tetherings of the acne scars to the deeper layers of the skin with needle, or these days with like a laser assistant uh, subcision we can also do. And also we can use uh, some advanced lasers such as CO2 here. Obviously there are some other treatments available, uh, such as for example, TCA cross and you know, even microneedlings, but frankly, CO2 is the gold standard and combining that with laser assisted um, um, subcision would be, would be the best treatment you can get. So question number six is how can CO2 help? So basically with CO2, um, depending on the severity of the um, acne scars, we go on particular settings and then we stimulate the skin to produce more collagen and then we gradually peel away the top layers of the skin with that in terms will help as well. So normally you might need three treatments. We recommend three block of treatments every six weeks. And um, there's a few days of downtime after that in a way that you will scab and it will be quite red uh, for a few days. Uh, no particular aftercare is needed. Um, obviously we will be all provided. And every six weeks we do a treatment until we see improvement. However, you don't see the improvement immediately. It usually takes between three to six months for the body to produce more collagen and heal the area. And also if there is a severe acne, which acne scars basically, which CO2 alone does not give um, enough improvements, uh, we can combine that with subcision. So we can combine it with conventional subcision, which is with needle and or cannula. Uh, a blunt needle or we can combine it for for the optimal result we can combine it with laser assisted subcision or endolift a device that um, we can do prior to the co2 and it's a best combination and you receive the best improvement in there Question number seven, is the CO2 treatment painful? So we use topical numbing cream, which that makes it much, much less painful and almost with no pain. Um, there is a few days of downtime, downtime until the scabs clear on the skin, which usually takes about five to seven days. And also you will see the result approximately three months after the treatment when uh, collagen production increases in the skin and your skin naturally heals those scars. 
Despite all these uh, treatment options that we discussed today, there is no definitive answer to this. There is no single treatment that can treat everyone. So best would be for you to come in for a thorough consultation. We examine what type of scarrings you have and what kind of option is the best for you. It might be a single treatment like CO2 that we recommend or we may recommend a combination of treatments for you to get the best result. Thank you for watching. I hope that I could answer some of your questions and you find this video useful. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and see you guys soon.